Good morning from Colombia. We're about to head down and meet our tour guide, Jaime, and he is gonna take us on the best day trip from Medellin. And we're gonna be joined by Haley and Jonathan, a UK couple that we met in Costa Rica. So let's get going. Feel like I just woke up from a two year nap. Everything's been so strange, but I woke up. Now I'm finally back, feeling myself and seeing things I never used to notice. Life don't look so hopeless now. I'm kicking my heels and I'm skipping my feet. Everything seems so new, it's like I'm me, but with a whole new piece. Never thought I'd come through, but now I know that all the dark times only make the light shine brighter. I'm here after all my tears. I'm here facing all my fears. I'm alive and I'm alright. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be fine. Little boy who hitched a ride on his bicycle in the back of a big truck. The truck was turning off and, and the little boy used his hand and made a, a, a signal for us. It was hilarious. We're John and Bev and we are the retirement travelers. We're heading up to the replica of the town of El Pinol, which over 40 years ago um, was, pretty, flooded. was flooded out because of the, the dam. Actually, the cross is in the place where the church was located. So under the water, like 28 meters deep right now, was El Peñol, 200 years old town. So that is why the people from El Peñol wanted to remember how the original town used to look, and they built the replica of the El Peñol. The Colombian style is related to the colors. Right. Each family chooses a color, like the green, like the blue, and the balconies, doors, and windows that are the parts in wood are uh -huh. with the same color. Look at this, how sad that must have been. Yeah, so for seven years, they were demolishing, moving, while it was flooding. I am here. So the rock is the border between El Peñol and Guatapé. And they have been discussing who's the owner of the rock for many years. In 1984, the government of Guatapé bought a big amount of special white paint that could resist the rain, the sun, everything. And they hired climbers using ropes to paint Guatapé on the rock. But you are not allowed to paint on a national heritage like this. So they were sued by the El Peñol people. They had to stop. So from 84, we have the beginning of the war Guatapé there. And that uh, white paint was very expensive. So they needed to spend it somehow. Once in Guatapé, I'll show you what they did with the paint. I sit in my car outside restaurants and bars Reading about what's inside I look up opinions about news and religion So I don't have to use my own mind I should call my friends But I read their posts instead Like dancing a waltz with no partner Nobody's holding your hand Like singing duets as a solo The harmony's just in your head It's almost as if I have been everywhere Almost tasted the food, almost breathed in the air But nobody's heart ever pounded From that feeling of being surrounded by pictures of mountains. Resting stop. We'll walk you uh, through this process. We're at step number 150 now, and we have a total of 740. So and we're already out of breath. I think we're like about 150 of the way there. It's just that straight up. Yeah, great. Straight up. That's what stairs are. I know, but that's hard. <laughs> I can do a hill better than I can do steps. This is hard, but the view is going to be worth it. I know that. It's hard when you're out of breath and you're scared. <laughs> that is hard to do. But today I'm just out of breath. <laughs> People are messy and life can get heavy. It's easier to keep it online. Like checking the weather to see if it's better 
instead of just going outside. So here's something else about John. He loves climbing the tallest thing anywhere. And it's hard on me. Thankfully, it's crowded and it's slow. Yes, we, we so have It some, doesn't look like I'm as much of a loser as I am. We have some excuses to slow down. Otherwise, you just run up. I, I know would. you. It's almost as if I had been everywhere, almost tasted the food, almost breathed in the air, but nobody's heart ever pounded from that feeling of being surrounded by pictures of mountains. Five seventy-five. Yay! A little bit more. You know, John. One thing about doing this is you kind of get wobbly, like you don't know which way is straight up because you're leaning over as you're climbing, or and so when you stand up straight, it feels like you're gonna fall off the mountain. <laughs> Tremendous. It wasn't that bad of a walk. I was just out of breath. So. Oh, it probably took us, what, 15 minutes maybe? <laughs> That's pretty good. It's not bad. So, we've done two of the things on our list, but we have one more. I guessed it was the church didn't die. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's the one thing people can agree on is the white church. Yeah, yeah it is white using the paint they needed for the rock. Uh -huh. From 84, they have this very white church. Yes. But it also has other colors, like uh -huh. at the base. You see the four designs it has? Right. Because there is a rule in this town. Every construction needs to have a socalo decorator. Oh. So they have four socalos symbolizing the four evangelists of the Bible. Oh, okay. Like that. What has gotten into me? It's like I'm in some dream. When I look at you Yeah, you And I'm giving hot fives out for free To everyone I see Just cause I want to Place. This, this is a great town Where are you from? Sweden, awesome London, well we got some more UKs here uh, Florida. Florida We have no home, we're just traveling the world for 10 years Do you know yeah. what? For, ten, for the past 10 years? No, 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 no. for the coming the next, the, next the next 10 years I love that shit Tell you what, I swear to God I'll subscribe I'm gonna, gonna keep going with traveling right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you promise? I swear to God because I, I love traveling also Okay, great To see, to see yeah, you guys do that Hey, we just met some great new subscribers over there <laughs> We love new subscribers, we meet them all over the world and they're from all over the oh, world. That's right. Honey, this uniform is paying off. It, it is. helps us meet people. You gotta wear the uniform. <laughs> people think we've lost our minds, but we just can't hide. We're a little crazy. So in the old town of El Peñol, there was a priest. People tell that he made miracles and he also made predictions. One of the predictions was that the town of El Peñol will be eaten by a dragon. When you look at the map, the lake looks like... It's a dragon, no doubt. Water dragon did eat the town of El Peñol. So in Guatapé, there is a, an occupation that is a Zocalo maker. Only exists in this town. You decide your design for your house and you hire a Zocalo maker to do it. There are three really good artists uh -huh. and more young people learn. This is called Calle del Recuerdo, the memory street. So people wanted to preserve one street as it was a hundred years ago. 
And this is a national heritage. These zócalos up here are very old, original ones. And as long as we go down, we're gonna see the evolution of the zócalos. The first transportation system in these mountains. The indigenous here didn't have horses. So when the Spanish got this place, they forced the indigenous to take them on a chair on their backs. For long trips, like going from Guatapé to Medellín, for days like this. Later, they brought the animals, so the system changed. And now it's a big tradition in Medellín area. It is used to transport flowers. I knew that we could get a better view of the city if we took a tip to yeah, So he arranged for these tip to drivers to meet us and pick us up. This was a little surprise. Give me that Juan Martin, it was fate. This is our tuk tuk. Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.